Oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name, or if thou wilt not, be but sworn, my love, and I'll no longer be a Capulet. I didn't want to let you love in, show you all my scars. I was scared. The calendar is, is something special for a photographer. I have seen all the calendar done before me. They're all marvelous, done by the greatest photographers. The level is so high and the tradition. My concept is very simple. It's about beauty and about love. It's a simple and very strong concept for me. We have a very good casting. It's because all the actors and singers are a beautiful person, not only beautiful actors. They were very happy to play this marvelous adventure of Juliet. Paolo was someone that I've always wanted to work with. His photographs look like these unbelievable paintings. It's lovely to have kind of a, a, a na the narrative behind the still image. I think that makes it a richer image. For me, it's so much about first love and it's about how close all of your feelings are to your skin. It can be so tender and painful to me, Juliet is the more grounded of the two. I don't see Juliet as fragile in any way. He's looking for a 35-year-old um, Juliet. That's, that's the idea, is that it's Paolo's kind of the new modern interpretation of her. I think that anyone of any age or gender could play either Romeo and Juliet because they've got so much feminine and masculine energy in both of them. But it's that idea of love and hopeless, hopeless love, which is what any, you can have at any age, really. To die for love breaks my heart. I can't think about it, it just breaks my heart. I love the creativity of just the minds of Paolo coming together with Pirelli to create something so special. And then Romeo and Juliet is the one book in high school that I had so annotated that you cannot actually see the original text. It's a story that I've spent so much time with and so to be in this kind of creative reimagining is really cool. I have revisited my original copy of Romeo and Juliet and have been thoroughly enjoying reminding myself of just how much I loved the first read. I feel like each person's Juliet represents something so different, and I, I feel like each person that's been selected is so powerful in their own lives. There's so many people that I would consider a modern-day Juliet. I think we find her everywhere. I'm scared of Paolo. He tells stories within his photographs, and I think he's good at reading people. I think that I I'm really, really curious to see what everyone else kind of came up with him together. There could be a perceived weakness in killing yourself for someone. I think to give yourself fully to someone is the strongest thing you can possibly do. I'm a huge Juliet advocate. I think she's a baller. There are Juliets absolutely everywhere. And also, like, I feel like I am Romeo, I am Juliet. To be involved with Paolo, who's just an extraordinary photographer, and he understands images and, and femininity and construction of an image so well, it was really exciting to me. I feel like sometimes I understand my characters much more than I understand myself. Acting can be something um, that's full of life, and you can live it and breathe it, and then the more you give to it, the more that it gives back to you. You think you find Juliet in, in every woman, man. She's in all of us. We all want love, we all have dreams and, and passions, and we can all connect to it. Uh, 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 
可能是也也跟当时现场的音乐有一定的关系，所以我觉得。嗯、呃，好像我找到了一些新的感觉，去诠释、去了解当代朱丽叶这样的一个命题。I'm a non-binary Black Juliet. I really appreciate being involved in programs that highlight Blackness and people of color. Politics around like loving trans people. It reminds me of like Romeo and Juliet. It symbolizes prejudice. It symbolizes violence around love. What is love if somebody else gets to choose how you feel it and with whom? Right? That's not love. I think that Shakespeare understands tragedy in a very specific and special way, and tragedy it's very present in flamenco, and flamenco is my main inspiration when I make music. I never did an audition in my life. I never did it. Everything I did it was organic. I always try to push myself, always harder, always harder. I am still searching of Juliet, you know, and I think we've been searching all my life because at the end, Juliet is a dream. Good night, good night. Parting is such sweet sorrow that I shall say good night to let be Moreau. This is the love of love. 靠着夏天的暖风的吹拂 ，May prove a beauteous flower when next we meet. Give me my Romeo, and when he shall die, take him and cut him out in little stars, and he will make the face of heaven so fine that all the world will be in love with night and pay no worship to the garnished sun.